Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman Chaudhary and in this video I am going to show you a very simple way to make these type of foldable stairs in SolidWorks. So keep watching this video till end and if you want to download uh, these files for your practice then I will leave the download link in the description of this video. Okay let's start first of all start from new part sketch on right plane and then draw steps by using line command at this time I am going to draw six steps so now press escape key and select all lines and make their relation equal now define the length of one step six inch six in So our sketch is now fully defined. Now go to weldment step and first of all save and exit from sketch mode by pressing this button. Then uh, select structural member option here and from here select uh, square tube and 20 by 20 by 2 millimeters. So click on group box here and then select all these lines one by one. Now uh, scroll down and from here uh, make sure that you have uh, uh, you have selected the end meter option from here uh, as a corner. So press OK button to apply this command. Now uh, next step is that select this face and then sketch on it. Press Ctrl plus 8 key from your keyboard for normal to view orientation and select uh, rectangle. Draw rectangle from this midpoint like this similarly draw uh, this rectangle or on all steps now select this corner and uh, drag it like this uh, up to the uh, up to this corner so make coincident mates like this Now press and hold uh, control key from your keyboard and select all these vertical lines one by one. And make the relation equal. Now define the height of this vertical line 25 millimeter. Go to features tab and select extruded boss base command and uh, double click on this face. Now press OK button to apply this command. Now click on this face and then sketch on it. Press Ctrl plus 8 key once again for a normal to view orientation. And uh, now uh, draw some circles on this line. Select all circles and make their relation equal. Now define the height from top to the center of the um, circle is 7 millimeter. So our sketch is um, still not fully defined uh, you can see here because we have not uh, defined the diameter of the circle so define the diameter of the circle 10 millimeter so now our sketch is fully defined now go to features tab and from here select extruded cut command and drag this arrow like this and press ok button so right click on this this sketch and from here select hide command Save this part side A. Now make another part from by pressing Ctrl plus N key from your keyboard and then select top plane and then sketch on it. Draw a rectangle like this and press escape key. 
select origin and this midpoint then make their horizontal relation and similarly origin and this midpoint at this time we are going to make vertical relation now define the width of uh, um, this rectangle 150 millimeter and length of the rectangle is 600 millimeter go to feature step and select extruded bow space command select mid plane and extrude up to 20 millimeter and press okay button now sketch on this face and at this time draw a rectangle like this define the length of the rectangle uh, 25 mm go to feature tab and extrude it up to 70 mm but in the opposite direction so press okay button once again sketch on this face and then normal to draw a circle like this define the diameter of the circle 10 mm select center point of uh, the circle and this midpoint make their horizontal relation now define the distance this distance 7 mm go to feature tab and extrude up to this space now um as you can see we have made uh, this rectangle on this face and now same rectangle and same uh, circle we are going to make or we are going to start it from here from opposite direction so sketch on this face make normal to and then rectangle distance or width is 25 mm extrude it up to uh, 70 mm in the opposite direction circle here so i am using um, shortcut keys and i have another video for these shortcut keys so if you want to watch that that video i will leave the link in the description of this video so by watching that video you will know how to uh, customize the shortcut keys in solid works so now save this part now start from new assembly first of all import this thing side and then import this tab so we need a duplicate of this part so for that press and hold control key and then click and drag this part like this to make its duplicate now right click and hold the right click button and then drag your mouse to rotate this part like this now um we have to make some mates so for uh, first of all we have to make uh, this step aligned according to this uh, part and then select this cylindrical face and then this cylindrical face make their relation concentric now select this face and uh, this face make their coincident relation so uh, by using same mates we have to add uh, all these steps so click and uh, press and hold control key and then click and drag to make the duplicates of uh, these parts and then make mates now select this face and this face make their parallel relation similarly 
um, we have to make parallel uh, relation for all the steps now um, select this cylindrical phase and this cylindrical phase make their concentric relation and then we have to make this phase and this phase coincident now select this phase and this phase make their parallel relation so I think everything is done now um, you can check so this was the simplest way to make these type of foldable stairs in SOLIDWORKS and definitely there are uh, some things which needs to be uh, in this assembly but my basic concern was to um, was just to uh, let you know how you can make the foldable stairs in solid bikes and i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this